Hello. And welcome to the Charlie Company channel. So nice to be here with you today. Thank you for stopping by. I will be reading the spiritual energies today for the collective. If there's something that you do feel that resonates with you, uh, please do take the guided wisdom and like the video. Uh, if you are not a subscriber and you do uh, enjoy the video today and you resonate with it, I'd appreciate it. If, of course, you would subscribe. And uh, if you do subscribe, please hit the notification bell to all. Okay, so I've been cleansing the energy. I've meditated on the messages that have been coming through. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle this card deck to get us going. And as far as the music you may hear in the background, please note, I do not own any copyrights to the music. Okay. Well, whatever the message is for today, Spirit Guide is speaking very loud and clearly today for the two first with the deck, with the uh, deck of the cards split you have the ace of swords in the chariot okay i'm guided to continue with this then you have the seven of pentacles and the four of swords at times when I'm led right to where I open the deck or at the bottom. I'm going to get some divine energy guidance for us for this reading collective. I pray everyone is well. And I do hope that you've had a chance to go back and look at some of the other videos I have posted. Quite informative. And you will definitely know when Spirit God is speaking to you. You will definitely know. Hmm. 31. Here's your first energy card collective. 31. This is the divine guidance. Let's see what spirit have for you collective with that card number 31. It's beautiful. Purple, yellowish gold. I'm getting some interesting energy for no wonder I'm getting interesting energy. It's an awakening. This card represents awakening for you collective. This is a powerful card, okay? Know that. So you are now entering into a complete awakening to your higher self and intuition, your gifts, and your role on the planet and the divine plan. The opening of your heart center is allowing your inner vision to see more clearly. And in turn, this is empowering you to... Uh, partake on many levels, both energetically and intu intuitively, to walk your path and do what you have come here to do. I know I felt that energy strong. And I do understand and resonate with that card very well. And I am then led away from the Divine Guidance card because we have our main uh, energy out. And that's the card number 31. Okay, you guys. Feel like things are winding up or either winding down. You'll leave some comments sometimes and let me know about the energy you're feeling uh, from the reading. Thank you, Spirit God. Thank you, Spirit God. 
High Priestesses first from this deck. Someone has mastered some skill set and their uh, Will of Fortune card is here. So this is about to take you into some new levels. This is part of that awakening, divine energy card that came out. Becoming or being the High Priestess and then this Will of Fortune card you have the Ace card out, Ace of Swords. You will be speaking your truth in many forms of communication. You're moving forward um, is what you're focused on, is actually your movement forward, your plans. That's the Four of Swords. You have been going over and making sure you are now crossing your T's and dotting your I's. With the... Um, seven of Pentacles that did come out. Also, you are taking a look back as you are resting in your Four of Swords energy and going over the work, the hard work that you have put in, your investments, whether it be people, places, or things. And so to add, the Hierophant card is here as well. So I will tell you you are definitely in an awakening state of being much more conscious of your energy, whom you connect with, what you connect with, what you choose to let go of, things that are not serving your highest purpose uh, and for your highest good. You are seeing that there's great possibility in your future once you make sure you take action and close out those cycles because the will of fortune is here and you do not want to lose anything that is predestined for you in this purposeful season due to any any lingering um, energies from people places and things habits and so forth Thank you, Divine Spirit Guide, being present here with me for the collector to protect and guide this message, which is most important. And it is important, Spirit Guide says, because this journey is yours and yours alone. You will be accounted for every seed that you planted and nourished, okay? Both good and bad. Take that how it resonates. Everyone knows the things that they have done. Whether it be good or bad. So those will be the things you're germinating uh, with those seeds in the ground. Ground nourishing them. And uh, taking good care. And waiting for this wonderful harvest to manifest for you. And it will manifest. This period right now is for your awakening, though. It's for your enlightenment. It is to ensure that your vibrations are high. You keep yourself balanced and aligned. You forego any toxic energy, toxic conversations. And that includes listening to toxic conversations. Thank you, Spirit God. Mm. Okay. Queen of Wands. Loving yourself in your maturity. Wow, beautiful. Your blessings. Your judgment is here for yourself, your energy, and those around you. But, you know, the Judgment card is part of that 31 card. Number 31, Awakening. This is the same energy spirit is talking loud and clear about, which is your conscious awakening. Thank you, spirit. Wow. Okay. 
Yes, three of wands. Thank you, Spirit. And then you have um, the Ten of Pentacles. That is, that's awesome. So as you nurture yourself, your investments, tend to your own grounds and no one else's. Nourish your body and your mind and fast. Meditate and pray. Your fruit. You will be mighty fruitful in this beautiful season because it is here. You are highly intuitive. You come on purpose and mission. Mm. And your three of wands. Yes, as you sit there in the chariot looking about to the future things to come. Moving very confident and being very intentional and precise. And the reason why the awakening energy is here for you is because you have been definitely putting in the work on yourself. You're learning to let go of the work that is required for others because that is not for you to master. What is for you to master in this lifetime, this incarnation, will be for you to master knowing yourself, your origin, understand being purposeful, being chosen, being favored, staying humble, and being generous to where a spirit guide leads you to be generous. And not wasteful. No gluttony, no greed. Hmm. Thank you, Divine Spirit God. Thank you, Ascended Masters. Thank you, my ancestors. Thank you. Thank you, universe. And this is from the universe justice. For everything you've endured, every wrong you've been, how you've been wrong, what you've endured, what you were in lack of, what you needed, Support. All of that is being balanced out by the universe, the Most High God, judgment and justice. And that justice is for us all, especially the ones who have had so much injustice against them. Mm. As I spoke, there is spirit confirming, yes. There's the five of swords energy. You walked away from all of the chaos and the noise. You're quieting yourself. You're listening to spirit. You're listening to the inner wisdom. It speaks to you. Inner wisdom is always there speaking to you. But if you do not get quiet... And let go of distractions. You will not hear what spirit is ushering you to do. Yeah. You went through a lot of deception. Bullying. But for everything you endured and walked through. Your angelic forces. And I mean mighty powerful Archangels. Yeah, there was a confirmation of the chimes blowing. They are definitely present. They are leading the way. So if you do get tired, you rest, you pray, and you fast. Then you get back up. Because knowing this, the Ace of Swords, the first one, then the chair you sit, you are a true warrior. And every warrior needs to know when to take their rest and to go in so that they can reemerge 
even much more powerful and victorious. Thank you, divine spirit God. Thank you again. So if any of you have been negated by partnerships, romantic partnerships, business partnerships, communities, major changes are coming. This is the lover's card. Your passion will be reignited and renewed in different areas of your life. So the people you would then encounter will definitely come in to play a major part in your life to help you through any other parts of this transition and transformation during your awakening. You will be guided. You have your angels, your ancestors, um, your loved ones, you know. Yeah. Is written in the books for them to guide and protect you through to this. Does your abundance await you? For every injustice, justice has been served. Justice, judgment was called and justice is being served by granting you what your birthrights are. And that is definitely to live abundantly and with grace and favor. Thank you, Divine Spirit God. Two of Pentacles. Yes. You're definitely uh, operating more toward your North Node as far as your career and uh, what you choose to do for work or business that you have or getting up and going or is going into its second stretch of, uh, you know, up that wheel so that you can come out more prosperous on your second um on, the, on this first fiscal cycle for revenue. So, uh, yeah, you're learning to balance it out well. That's why you're taking the time to take a look and reflect back over the things you've invested in, where you move your assets, uh, where you even move your emotional assets. I always include thyself because we're more than just in this physical, what physical money, you know, physical objects and uh, possessions. So our mental and our emotions and our physical are also are definitely our assets as well. So we don't leave those out. I always account for that. That is uh, what I would call home base. That's where it starts. Thank you, Spirit God. Yes, King of Cups. You're in this profound uh, masculine energy. And as I said, with this awakening, it does teach you to love yourself. You are, yes, thank you. So as the Ten of Swords did come about, you, uh, that's what you have recovered from. So there was a lot of deceit and deception in the past. But you totally recovered. And now I totally understand why spirit is saying both judgment and justice energy must be present in this collective reading. Because of, like I say, what you have gone through, collective. And then, of course, you have your 
Eight of Pentacles now. Uh, wisely toiling away and making sure you put back and to take care of yourself and to prepare for great abundance to come due to the proper investments and that as well includes time energy love work community studies children family all of these things are part of a self-investment cycle that we are in as we journey here through this time on the planet. Yeah, so just another confirmation that you've been looking back. Uh, absolutely. There's the star. Allow your light to illuminate. Uh, know that you radiate from within and sometimes it is very difficult to recover from such terrible uh, deception and you know ten of swords is like that's the ultimate deception there so but you've done well that's why you're in this energy of awakening healing from within thank you divine spirit guide that's a lot hold on let's see what we have here I'll just reshuffle and assess the energy one more time before I move to this other deck. This is more about your energy today, collective, as a whole. Thank you. Uh, okay. Okay. The mix. Spirit is speaking very loud and clear. With this awakening, you will be uh, accessing more abilities, more of your gifted abilities to make things happen for yourself. Okay? As the magician. Because remember, you are the star. There's your four of wands and your happy foundation, your happy life. That's your justice right there is your four of wands. Four of wands goes right there with the justice, the double. That's the 11. 11 does not break down to a 2. Don't let anyone tell you that. 22 necessarily by divinity of birth. They do not break down. That's another double master number there. So people born on the 11 and 22. Quite unique and different. So here's your four of wands. 2, 2, 2. <laughs> I mean 2, 2 on here so... That's a four, and then here's your W11, so. Wow. Very good energy. Very good energy. This reading is just for you. Uh, as I was saying, it's about healing from the thin. And one spirit guide directed me on to go ahead and address the uh, download and revelations that I was having in meditation as to where you at, Collective. This is what spirit wanted to bring forth. And share with you. So now let us get us uh, a divine angelic card to uh, close this reading. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me reshuffle. But we have our chakra clearing, which makes that makes perfect sense to getting yourself. Uh, as I say, you moved away from the old, cleared it out. You now you need to align, meditate, and pray. As I was saying, uh, watch for what you take in. Make sure you do fast. As I was saying, that's part of uh, chakra clearing and aligning. And to have compassion. Archangel Zekiel says, soften your heart with respect to the situation and all of the people involved, including yourself. So that is part of the awakening as well. And that represents a heavy meaning why that, that uh, grant from the universe of Ace of Swords has come out. That is spoken. That is communication. And so, it is saying, take this in account for yourself for all that you have gone through and endured. Don't harden your heart against others. Remain who you know you are and stay positive so that you can be rewarded with something, someone, 
uh, jobs, home, money, travel, whatever these things are. And it's not always money. Sometimes I like to seek just the peace of, peace of enjoying bodies of water, being around big, beautiful, lush trees. And it doesn't matter if the trees are during the fall or winter or spring or summer. I enjoy that. That to me is abundance too, because it's not every day you you get to go to a place that brings you peace and serenity and to be within yourself and to have no thoughts and let go and then listen to the wind and listen to spirit guide speak to you. That's abundance. So don't forget that, okay? Let's see if there's one more divine angelic card for you today. Wow. I, spirit told me to turn it over. So, beloved one, Archangel Chamiel says, I am helping you. <laughs> Praises, praises to the Most High. We are on it. The cards do not lie. Spirit doesn't lie. That's why the cards can't lie. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. Isn't that wonderful? I tell you. So just understand as you operate in your divine energy, all the things that you have asked for shall come. And understand timing is everything. And with the higher higher font and the higher priestess on the table, will of fortune being here, you're totally, totally guided through all of this. So hang in there, no matter what it looks like, because going through the awakening stage, I can guarantee you, it is not an easy feat or task. But justice is here, and so is your four of wands, your ten of pentacles. Yeah. So... And you're the star within your own right, no matter what anyone else says. And you can make things happen in your world by tending to your own garden. The things you plant that you want to see come to fruition. Be that magician and manifest those things. Don't, don't look left and don't look to the right to others. Remember, keep your eye on the prize and that's whatever it is your soul desires. I come in peace with you, light and love. I appreciate the time we've spent with one another today. I pray you receive this message well. Please remember this is home for you, the Charlie Company channel. And as I grow and as we grow, we will have more uh, access uh, to things that will increase our abundance and prosperity in so many more fruitful ways as well as monetary ways, because we realize we have to, um, in order to operate here on this wonderful planet, we have to pay and uh, take care of our debts and pay it forward. So I love you, and until next time, okay? Peace.